Welcome back, everybody. In the last episode, I got flippers. I did a lot of kinstone fusion action. So um, I know I have treasures all over the all over High Rule that I need to go and get from the kinstone fusion. But what I want to focus on now is the ones that are in Caster Wilds because uh, they're pretty important. Well, kinda. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yes. Yeah, so now that we have uh, flippers, we can swim over to that waterfall. Oh, geez, I don't want to do that. No. Boots. Okay. Don't know if I'm going the right way. No, I'm not. Yeah, I take it that we gotta go up, and then down. Oh yeah, I gotta check that place out too with the moments. go. Let's go in here first. I think you gotta push these blocks here maybe? Yeah. Piece of heart. And if you remember, I did some kinstone fusion with somebody and it opens up this waterfall. And inside is, yes, another trainer. <laughs> Let's see who he is. He is brown hair. Swordsmanship is spirits. I am the finest, or maybe the second finest swordsman in all Hyrule. Scarblade. Train with me will forever transform your swordsmanship. Yes. So what is he going to teach us? Then I will teach you how to more quickly unleash your spin attack, which you have already learned. I take visualization training very seriously. Visualize your sword moving at an unthinkable speed. Now you can perform your spin attack much faster, my student. This is the heart of the sword. Alright, so I sped up my great spin attack, so you won't have to hold the button down as long as long anymore. Let's see. Yeah, I would say so. Okay. So those are the two things I wanted to take care of. And... In another episode in the future, I will actually go around and collect all the stuff I need that I, you know, the treasures that I received from doing Kinstone Fusion. So what we want to do now is warp to Lake Hylia. Yes. We want to go to the Temple of Droplets we've heard about. Finally, I'm making it here. Oh yeah, I forgot to go in that. Uh, I'll go back to it. I gotta figure out a way to get this. It's probably a Kinstone Fusion or something. And over here too. But I forgot to go to that cave that was in Caster Wilds. I'll do that in the next episode, or after I get done with the Temple of Droplets. Why not? I'll go back. Ah! Get, out, get away from me. We can go in this one. Yeah. 
50 rupees. Is that it? Looks like it. Um, so where is that Temple of Droplets at? Oh, yeah. Another piece of heart. Forgot about that one. I believe it's up here. Yeah, it is. Right here. Shrink. There we go. Burr. Yeah, it is freezing. <laughs> and as you can see, there's the boss door already. This seems like... What? The floor is made of out of ice. Be careful not to f fall and freeze your backside to the floor, Link. Yeah, but uh, you may think this is a short temple, but uh, no, it is not. <laughs> now these things here, this is what kills me. I'm looking stuff to like move these things, and all you have to do is just push them. It's funny how a game does that to you. You think you need something special to move something, and all you have to do is just merely push it. Kind of insults your intelligence. Oh. Yeah, so I'm finally getting back to this game. Uh, you guys won't know because... Uh, episodes pri uh, before this isn't even uploaded yet, but... I was just totally playing the hell out of that BS Zelda, and I will... That will actually probably be my new LP after this one. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. So we have to hit that. And then I take it fall down. Yeah, it's a key. Yeah, this temple is a little tricky. It has a couple puzzles that might be a little hard at first. Actually, the first one I think is probably the hardest. which it's over here. Drop down here. And there's a switch to turn off the sunlight, but we want to keep it shining down. Now you see there's a boss key. Boss key already. What you'll want to do, I believe, see if I can do this. I think you want to slide this over, then down, then over to that block, and then slide this one over, and push the boss key over, then up, then over, then down, yeah and push it all the way over then against up against the switch yeah then against that block and there we go we got the big key now you want to shut the switch off because you can't cross with it open like that so now it's closed so now we can get back over to the other side There we go. So we're in a boss's room already. That was quick. Oh, what's that on the bottom there? Hey, well done, Link. That looks to be the element. All right. 
But what will we do? You can't even touch it while it's trapped in that ice. We need to mount it off somehow. Yeah, and if you do notice, there's a switch on this side, and there's a switch on this side. We have to get to both of them. Yeah, there is the element. And there is a big ass frozen, what looks like Octorok. Ugh. Don't want to unfreeze him. See what's over here. Oh, there's the map. Yeah. I was playing a little bit of this stage and talking to Bolzolm, and he's like, Temple of Droplets. He goes, why do I think of poop <laughs> when I hear droplets? I'm like, yeah, you're pretty disgusting. All right. Which way to go? I don't know if I have to go... No, can't go that way. Gust jar. Come on, suck that mount mushroom up. Let's fall down the waterfall. Whoa. Make sure you dive under those things. What's this say? The way forward is hidden in the bottom of a of the pot. So basically what that means, I guess you wanna dive. There you go, small key. We wanna head back left. Back up the waterfall. to this locked door up here. Open it, Link. There we go, and look what we have here. Another lily pad. Yes, yeah, so I think everybody, well, hopefully everybody will like BS Zelda. It's a like I said, it's a 16-bit updated version of uh, their original for Nintendo. I want to kind of keep it a secret, but I really have nothing else to talk about, and I didn't want to kind of bore you, but that is going to be my next LP. I'm already, there's two quests, too. So, come on. Ah, I still get hit. Yeah, there's two quests. I'm done with the first quest. It's actually not that bad. It's a matter pillar. The mini boss from dungeon number one. What's up here? Oh, okay, yeah, we go there next. Let me take out this matter pillar. If I can get there. Oh, 
I hate this ice. Yeah, there's going to be a good bit of mini-bosses in this temple, just to give you a heads up. I mean, this isn't classified as a mini-boss, but it was a mini-boss level 1. But actually, the mini-boss in this uh, temple is a mini-boss, well, a main boss of a dungeon we were previously in. Just a little bit harder, harder version, and you'll see why coming up. Ugh. Go up. Thought it was blocked off at first. What's over here? Nothing. A treasure chest inside of an ice cube. Lovely. Huh. Another treasure chest inside of an ice cube. Come on, Link. 50 rupees. These flies like to pick up pots and drop them on you. Can't get over there yet. So it's good to destroy all the pots before it can pick it up. Alright, so here is the second, I guess, puzzle. Um, yeah, you want to start with this one up here. This is going to be the one where you get it on the switch. Which... This one isn't so bad. There we go. Now we gotta hop back on our lily pad. Oh yeah, I guess... Okay, another chest. Yeah, we want to go up to this door up here. Stupid that we just can't swim over here, but can't. Now, this is just a small room. Yeah, it's dark. Want to just hurry up and. Yep, that's it. Uh, I think I'm going to end it here. I mean, it's 19 minutes and 22 seconds. So, this has been W Balls 03. Yes. See? This is what I'm talking about. More mini-bosses. I should have just stayed down there. But, yes, I will take on these, uh, whatever they call them, spiny beetles, claw beetles, I don't know, in the next episode. See you guys next time.